Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create graphics using Canva so that you can enhance your own videos. And I'm going to be showing you how to create stuff. Oh, sorry. My dog is cool. He misses me. He's watching me make my videos. They both are. But anyhow, yeah. So we're going to be creating graphics on Canva that look like this and like this and like this so that you can upgrade or enhance or zhuzh up your own videos yourself. In my experience, it was really like kind of intimidating thinking about like motion graphics, trying to understand them, how to create them. And I felt like I was spending too much time trying to figure out how to create them my own. So I try to kind of like fall back to what I knew best and that is with Canva. And I know with Canva, I was able to create graphics and kind of put it over my videos, just remove the background or green screen and it worked. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that and how to go about creating different type of graphics, whether if it's just like still graphics or if it's moving graphics, you're gonna learn it right in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. When I first started my content creation journey, I was extremely intimidated by the word motion graphics because I was just wondering what even is that? And when I watched professionally done videos, I would see all these cool graphics moving around and all these sound effects and just the thought of it and the thought of the fact that it was a learning curve for me made it extremely difficult and extremely intimidating to me. So I try to think, okay, what can I do to implement motion graphics or make my video better without having to go through this entire like learning, learning, I don't know experience. And the reason why I was trying to speed up the pace and get past that learning experience is because I didn't have the tools for it. I use CapCut and a lot of motion graphics are created on Adobe After Effects and I don't have Adobe After Effects. So I knew that it was going to take some time to learn. And so I just thought, how can I make this easier and quicker for myself? What is something that I can, one, make it super easy to just kind of start and do and add into my videos. Two, how can I brand these graphics to suit my style? Like the look of it, the colors of it. And so yeah, there are softwares online that you can utilize like Motion Array and Envato Elements that provide you motion graphics. But for the most part, I know a lot of these platforms are utilized on like Adobe After Effects or Final Cut Pro and stuff like that. And I don't use those software, I use CapCut. I had to figure out how to incorporate motion graphics in a way or just still graphics in general that are branded to me, but also work with CapCut and that's where Canva comes in. So I'm really excited to hop into Canva and show you how I create my graphics and they're not going to be the most professional looking graphics ever, but they will get the job done and they will help and you can brand it to however you'd like. So that's the fun creative part of it. And before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I also have a free YouTube starter kit that's linked down below that it tells you all the inexpensive and free tools that I use as a small content creator. So go ahead and check that out and let's get into Canva. We're gonna go ahead and open up Canva and we're going to create three different graphics just for a little bit of variety. So in the top right hand corner, click on create a design and what I like to do is type in YouTube and I will select anything that has to do with YouTube video. So YouTube live stream video is fine, we can click on that. And then it'll open up basically our video editor, but we're not actually editing a video, we just want basically the ratio of the YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure I select the background here. As you can see, the entire square is outlined in purple, which indicates the entire background is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this background color in the top and then select green and this will turn the entire thing green. So this is gonna serve as basically a green screen for you to take out when you upload this into your video editor or CapCut. In this case, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that on CapCut. So let's say we have our canvas here. The one thing that you wanna know is you want to know exactly where you're going to be placed. So if I'm sitting right here and this is where I'm going to be on the frame, then I know that I have room to put a graphic right here, a graphic right here, or maybe even a graphic up here. So I'm just being mindful to the fact that I will be centered right here and I don't wanna block myself out that much. So I just wanna keep that in mind. So we're gonna create our first graphic and we're gonna go ahead and select whatever we want. So whether if you want it to be text or if you want it to be some type of like graphic element, you're gonna select that on the left-hand side. And then let's say I wanna point out something that has to do with this video. So this video is how to use Canva. Maybe I can type in Canva and then maybe look around to see if there's anything that pops up that I can use. So this, so we can use this, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize this, keeping in mind that I am 
centered right here. And then maybe I want it to be turned just a little bit to give it a little bit of character. And maybe I don't want it to be just this. Maybe I want to have some type of animation. So I'm going to select the Canva logo. I'm going to go ahead and click on animate. And then I'm going to select the one that I want. So if you want it to pan in, if you want it to slowly zoom, if you want it to pop up, if you want it to rise up like that, you can select whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then you can change the speed here. So if you want it to pop up slower, or if you want the animation to show slower, then you're going to bring this down the bar. If you want it to go faster, then you're going to bring it up the bar. So then it'll go pretty quickly. But I like to keep it a little bit slower between like medium and slower. So I think this is fine like that. And then you can do it on both entering and exiting. So when it appears on your screen and when it goes away from your screen, you can select both for that. Or you can have it only when it appears on the screen or only when it exit off the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and just do both. And then at the bottom here, you can see the square. As you can see, it says 5.0 S, which means this video portion right here is going to be five seconds long. If you need it to be shorter, all you have to do is click on the side of the square and drag it out or in, and you can adjust the timing of it. So if I want it for only three seconds, 3.0 S, I can leave it as that. And then in the top right hand corner, if I click on play, that's how it will show. So it'll show for three seconds, including the animation part. So I'm actually going to slow down the animation. So I'm going to click on it again. It's under pop and then I'm going to go ahead and slow it down. And then I'm going to play it. And that's what it would look like. So if I want it to be longer, I can go ahead and extend it out. So let's say I want it at six seconds. So I'm going to put 6.0 S. Hit play. And then it'll go away around the fifth second. So that'll be our first graphic. And all you would need to do is you can go ahead and title it. So I'm going to title it Canva logo, select share in the top right corner, click download, and then you're going to download as an MP4 video file. So then once you download it, you're going to go ahead and import it into Canva, which I'll show you after we create our other two graphics. So let's say this is the first graphic we want to make. What you can actually do is click on add page right here, which is the square with the plus sign. It will add in another page and you can actually download this as a separate motion graphic itself. So let's say we have this on the left hand side and maybe I want this to be Let's leave it at five seconds. So we have this popping up on the left hand side. Let's say we want it to disappear and then we want something to pop up on the right hand side. Keeping in mind that I am in the center, I don't want to block myself. We're going to go ahead and add in whatever we want here. So let's say I want to show you some type of, I don't know, moving arrow. So we're going to type in arrow. You're going to click on any of these. So shapes, graphics, photos, videos, frames, whatever you want. You're going to find what you need and you're going to select it. So let's say I wanted to use this. So maybe I want to tell my viewers to go to, to basically watch the next part of the video. What I can do is adjust this to however I'd like. Maybe I want it to be upside down like that. And then I can actually flip it. So if I click flip, I can change the direction of it. So maybe I want it right here. So that could be an animation itself. And then all I would have to do is adjust this to my liking. So maybe I want it to be five seconds long. And then if I were to play it, so this would pop up for the first five seconds, but what matters most is this part. So this pops up for five seconds. Let's say we want that. You're going to go ahead and click on share, click on download. And then if you only want to download one of the graphics, all you have to do is select under select pages. You're going to click on the arrow right here, and then you're going to make sure that only the graphic you want to download is selected. So we're going to unselect the other one, click done, click download, and then it'll download only the other, the other, not, not the logo, not the Canva logo. It will download the arrow. So if we were to open up my file and then I were to open it up, then only this would show. And that's exactly what we want. So let's say we want to go ahead and create a third graphic, or actually let's say you found a different arrow or a different graphic that you want to add in here that isn't animated. So let's say we select this one. You can change this however you'd like. So if you want to change the color, I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Make sure it's just not green. You don't want it to be green, but let's say this is the color we want. And then maybe we'll want to slip, uh, we want to flip it. So we're going to go ahead and flip it this way and this way. Actually, we're going to flip it that way. And then we're going to adjust it to where we want it to show on our screen. So I'm going to imagine myself right here. 
and then I want this right here. And then maybe I want this to be animated. So all you have to do is click on the logo or click on the graphic or whatever it is you want to animate. Click animate at the top and then you're going to select the one that you want. So maybe I want it to wiggle. So we're going to go ahead and select wiggle and then you can change the intensity of it. So if you want it to wiggle a lot, you have to move the bar to the right. If you don't want it to wiggle too much, then you're going to move it to the left. But let's say we like how it is. We're going to go ahead and leave it as is now. So then the next graphic is we're going to go ahead and add a page. It's going to be the same green screen background. And maybe we want to add something above me. So what we're going to do here is let's say we want it to be text. So you can either choose text or element. You can even do this with photos. So let's say you want a photo to pop up. You can select photos and then you can select whatever you want. So let's say sad face um, or maybe even graphics. Graphics might be even better. So let's say we do sad face or you can even do this like with a puppy's face. What you can do here if you decide to use photos, so let's say we use this one. If we use this one, all you have to do is select the graphic and then what you can do is you can actually change the border style. So if you wanna round it out, you can. And then you can also add borders to it if you'd like just to kind of create that separation between the video and the graphic. And then if you want to crop it in, all you have to do is select the sides where there's a straight line at the top, bottom, left or right, and then you're just going to move it down or move it up. So now it's a perfect square. So let's say we want this to be in our corner instead of the arrow. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. And to delete one of the graphics, all you have to do is right click that entire page and then go ahead and delete page. So let's say we want this to be the graphic. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize it a little bit so that I know I'm in the middle and I'm not being blocked out. And then let's say we wanna add in an animation. So we're gonna click on it, click animate, and then we're gonna do the wiggle. I think I like the slow wiggle. So we're gonna leave as is. So, so far we have our Canva logo, which pops up, and then we have our sad face, which wiggles, and then we're going to go ahead and add in our third animation, which will show at the top of myself. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in and we're going to go ahead and actually use text. So you can definitely use text within CapCut itself or your own video editor, but I sometimes like to do it on Canva because I can use it for every single video moving forward. So it's kind of like a branded graphic. So you can select add a text box and then remember to imagine yourself in the center. I'm going to go ahead and change this to whatever I want. So how to create graphics on Canva. I'm gonna go ahead and select the entire thing and you can actually change the font, how it looks, you can change the size. You have all these custom options that you can utilize and you can even change the color. Uh, if you want to add effects, you can select that and then it has different type of effects, which I think is pretty cool and can be pretty useful. So let's say we wanna use this one and I want this to be bigger. So maybe this is what I want. How to create graphics on Canva. You can also animate it, or if you actually look more under the effects, you can curve it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and curve mine. How to create graphics on Canva. Make it bigger. And then I'm gonna bring it up so that fits. So then here you can actually separate the characters as well. So you can click on spacing at the top and then you can change the letter spacing. So if you want it to be squeezed in more, if you want it to be spread out a little bit, you can have it like that. You change it right up here. So we're gonna go to animate and then we're going to change how this appears. So I'm gonna go ahead and do wipe, but you can do anything else. You can do breathe, you can do drift, you can do baseline, you can even have it typed in. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and select wipe and then what you can do is you can slow down the speed of it or you can speed it up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up for this video. So now that I have that graphic done, I'm gonna go ahead and click share and then I'm gonna click download and I wanna go ahead and download each one individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and unselect all pages and then one by one, I will select the page and then download it. Share, download, select the pages, unselect it. I'm gonna go ahead and select second page, done, and then download, and then I will do the third one. Share, download all pages, unselect all, page three, done, download. So now that we have all three of our graphics downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open up CapCut, and then 
we're gonna go ahead and import it. So I'm just gonna simply click all of them, drag and drop. So then it adds in. We're gonna go ahead and add in our graphics. We'll do it one by one. So if you wanna add in a graphic with a green screen, all you have to do is click and drag it and basically put it where the B-roll is. So that's gonna be, so here's your main footage at the bottom of the, your timeline and then your B-roll or all of the extra footage that will go on top of your main video will be here. So I'm gonna put it in the same line as the secondary footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my graphic and on CapCut in the top right hand corner, click on remove BG. You're going to select chroma key, click on this little color picker, select green, and then you can change the intensity of it. So then if you play it, it's going to look like this. And then if you want to add in the next one, you're going to go ahead and click drag and drop it. And you can move it in um, to your timeline as much as you want. So you can move it around. You're going to select it. Make sure your viewfinder is on top of the green screen graphic. You're going to click remove BG, chroma key, color picker, and then select the green, change the intensity, and then it would look like this. For some reason, your graphic starts looking a little pixelated or anything like that, you want to change the intensity because the more intense it is, the more transparent it will be. So if you just bring it down a little bit, it might help with the pixelation. And then we're going to add in the last one. Select remove BG, chroma key, color picker, and then select green and change the intensity if needed. So then what you can do is if you see your graphic on here and it's not as big as you want it to be, you can actually click on basic and then just make sure that the file on your timeline is selected and you can actually scale this up or down to make it bigger or smaller. So then it would look like this. First tip to you is your thumbnail, your title, and the... Okay, and that's how you create your own graphics on Canva to make your video stand out. You can change these and brand them to your own colors, and you can basically adjust it to however you want it to look. Customize however you want, make sure the background is green, and then when you download it, you're gonna upload it into or import it into your editing software and then just remove the green screen background, add it onto wherever you want in your video, and you can adjust it accordingly. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and then click on the video on the screen and I will see you there. Bye.